yet. All right, I'm, uh, I'm about ready here. Do you want to be over here? Okay. Ready. Okay. I'll just so, count down. You're gonna count. You're gonna count down. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, so she four, ready. three, two, one. Go! <laughs> Hello! Hello, mate! LMNOP. Hello. Hammer, good afternoon. Nice to see you. First. <laughs> Perfect. Get the channel point. Gwenifer? Gwenifer is not in chat at the moment. That's from yesterday. That's over here. We're looking at, he's looking at my like dashboard here. I'm looking at the top right above chat. Yeah, top right above chat. Let's see. Streamlabs crashed on me like three times today already. So I'm going to, uh, hello, little chef. Little chef is over here. Hello. <laughs> hello, hello. You're going downstairs? Okay. Uh, now that I'm actually live, I'm just clicking through uh, a couple of these scenes. Uh, I I made one one change one change one change. You turn that down a little bit, and that's loud. All right, all right. Um, what am I even doing today? I'm making dinner. Why is that still so loud? Oh, I think it's because you have the iPad pointed at me. Can you turn it down just a little bit more? It's very loud. The iPad noise, the noise from those iPads is uh, high, high quality. <laughs> high quality. Um, all right. Rough start. Good Lord. Good afternoon. Good day. Good evening, if it's evening for you. What's on the menu tonight? Trout? Broccoli, salad, bread. That's easy, right? Um, I know I need the food processor, though, because I want to make breadcrumbs. Um, I had two things happen at once this week. One, I have, like, a weird amount of, like, leftover bread that's not... Uh, is like, two slices of things, you know, or, like, one roll. Like, useless, right? So I'm making trout. I got the trout from the fish guy uh, and the recipe or like the process that I'm using is going to be um, using a bunch of those bread, a bunch of that leftover bread. So I just need to break that down into uh, breadcrumbs. So uh, what I'm going to do with the trout is put that in the oven. I'm going to, uh, it's already filleted, um, but I'm going to, uh, put that in with uh, breadcrumbs with garlic and butter, uh, thyme, parsley, um, and then just like roast that on a sheet pan pretty quickly. Um, and then make a uh, apple fennel celery salad and steam some broccoli. That's the easy part. So let me just get out some of the things that I actually need to use tonight. Uh, so I'm not like reaching into cabinets here. I can just do that all at once. Um, steaming broccoli is going to go in this pan. And in my steamer basket, which is in here somewhere. Where did I put it? There it is. I was watching someone uh someone streaming uh cooking like a cooking channel for the first time. I think they were doing like a one of the meal box meals and it called for steaming and they were they'd never used one of these and they were so intrigued by the like the by the thing. They were like what is a steamer basket and like someone in chat said something to them and it was just funny. Uh and they were like fascinated with it. 
and I had the I had the like the thought like oh that's cute like you know oh they never used one but like honestly like these things really are fascinating they're so fun to play with <laughs> anyway um let's keep moving towards dinner <laughs> um broccoli baguette is out that was in the freezer uh so that's going to just be thawing um the trout i need to get out the trout um because it's in ice so it's probably a little like really cold uh the other thing i need to do is roast i want to roast some no you know what i'm going to use those candied pecans on this um, I was going to roast some walnuts and put that on the salad, but I'm going to make that with the candied pecans because I have a lot of them. I don't need to do anything additional and I like them better. And I'm the one eating dinner. So uh, <laughs> I get to make the choices. Yay. Anyway, um, so let's get out the trout and then get the prep stuff done. So the trout is a uh, whole whole trout. They are he whole head on trout. I got these from the fish guy as well. Um, you got mm -hmm. ice off of here, and these are so with fish. Um, with fish, I know we one of the things you want to look at is the eyes, and if they're like cloudy, then they're either not been stored or they're well or they're pretty old. These guys are crystal clear which is awesome uh these have been i believe deboned already um but they've not been uh fully filleted uh they're they're fully filleted but they are um they still have the fins on them they're not like fillets you can see the head it's fun um so i'm just going to get those out and let these sit for a few moments here in this container while i get uh, the breadcrumbs, and then I can get the processor off the counter. Um, so this should be... Uh, that's covered in dust. We don't love that. Hopefully this is a fairly straightforward dinner tonight. I think this is the type of dinner that I would be, um, you know, for like years and years. This is just like a standard, like easy dinner, you know, takes an hour to cook. Two if you're talking. Maybe two and a half if you're talking um uniform flesh yeah that's a good point that's a that is a really good point um these i just stopped at the eyes <laughs> um so far I'll, I'll take a closer look at them they were packed in ice like i had them in the fridge but this whole this whole container here was filled with ice and these guys were under it so they are pretty um they're cold. They're, there's some parts I think they're pretty frozen. Um, so let's look at the bread situation. So this is what I'm talking about. I've got one end piece of bread in here. This is a uh, soft white bread. So I'm going to try to get maybe like a cup of breadcrumbs, which is, should be pretty easy given what's here. Um, this is a hamburger bun. So one, two pieces of bread, one hamburger bun, and then um, th that was a white hamburger bun. Now I've got some uh, potato hamburger buns. So let's just toss those in there too. Um, and I guess I should be Instead of just throwing these in here whole, I should just be tearing these up like a little bit before they go in, right? I think that's the standard. Um, the fish that I got, I'm you know I'm pretty confident in how fresh it was when I got it. I got it from the same uh, vendor that I got the clams from that I made yesterday, and the clams were pretty fresh. Um, pretty fresh still. They were nine days old, the clams. And I think this trout is less. For sure, it's less. Creme delish. Hello. How was your how was your uh how was your stream today? I thought I saw that you were live. Welcome in. 
talking fish. Talking fish and leftover bread at the moment. That is uh is a step step one, step two today. I thought I saw I thought I saw that you were on. I, I know I saw that you were on the other day. Um maybe someone was doing was someone doing a redemption or doing something <laughs> uh specific today. I I must have been confused. I saw something with Crumbulish in the title of it. Um, yeah, for sure. It sounds like you've got some other, other, other goals. Um, yeah, I'll use the last roll here, whatever. And these are supposed to be, okay, that's okay. That's probably what it was then. I think I saw it. In, um, I don't remember where I saw it. It was in a, it was in a chance. Someone's, someone's discord. <laughs> that's what it was. Okay, cool. Do you, uh, <clears throat> Do you edit those yourself? I feel like I've, I I know that you were um, doing some editing work for at least one other person. I remember. Uh, cool, that's fun. Video editing is uh, tedious. It can be tedious. I don't do much video editing myself. I have, and it's tedious. Okay, I think this is good on these rolls. The other rolls that are in here are white bread, um, hot dog rolls. I have two things of hot dog rolls still in here, but I got the, uh, I got the good, I got the, the scraps and the old ones out of the way. Gotcha. Okay. That's cool. These breadcrumbs. Yeah, Calvin. Oh, you did? Oh, cool. Well, then it was worth it. What tacos are like? Well, today, today is not a, uh, today is not, uh, a taco day. Um, it would be, it would be nice. To Tuesdays are a good day for tacos, TBH. They really are. Uh, however, today, uh, that was a, a title to get people to, to click in <laughs> because it is Taco Tuesday. No, today is trout. I'm doing fish today. Um, well, cool. Excellent. Well, I appreciate it. I appreciate it, Crum. Uh, thanks for, thanks for saying hi. Always. And uh, Shreva, correct me. I'm, I apologize if you were if you were asking a serious question about what what tacos are. Uh, I apologize if that was an oversight. Let me know. I'm happy to <laughs> share what I know. Okay, these are uh, breadcrumbs. I only needed about a cup of these. That's fine. I'll freeze the rest. But again, I'll just put them in the. Um, never had tacos before. Uh, tacos are any combination of vegetable or meat or cheese uh, on top of a typical, typically a flour tortilla, corn, a corn flour tortilla. That's what commonly what you would look at as a taco, and they are amazing. Some type of stewed, stewed or slow cooked meat over some type of fresh, uh, fresh type of salsa. With peppers and tomatoes is pretty common. That's a pretty common taco. They are uh, they are delicious, and commonly made on Tuesday because because <laughs> it rhymes, I guess. Okay, I need about a cup. Like I said about a cup of breadcrumbs, probably for these. Uh, four trout or two trout, four fillets. Um, all right, this looks pretty good. These are, um, this would be interesting to do breadcrumbs with the potato rolls. I've not done that before, but I'm sure they're fine. And I'm sure if I just, um, Oh, papati chat. Yeah, it might be. Yeah, I mean, it's a similar if you're if you're 
um if you're used to like you know just imagine 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 like a kebab wrapped up in a pita it's like very similar to a taco <laughs> with some fresh some a kebab wrapped up in a pita with some fresh herbs would make a delicious taco it's all about the presentation have i ever tried indian yes i uh we i get indian uh indian's one of our favorite carryouts here i've actually not made um a, an indian dish i've made like flatbreads before um but i've never tried um like a masala or a chaat or um or something like that no i'd be interested to try that um i feel like I feel like my my um, my lack of knowledge is keeps me from trying to do something like that in a um, in a format like I'm cooking dinner now, which is usually like trying to be pretty quick about it. Although I end up being like you know two hours. I feel like those are the types of things dishes that like are best if they are simmered and let let sit throughout the day. Or rather, like, cooked a little bit slower. Um, and thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Um, but, yeah, I'm very ignorant about it. I love I love when we order um, when we order food. I always try to get, like, I always get something different. Not always. But, I mean, I have my favorites. Um, but we eat it. We eat it. But I don't. I haven't made it. Um, okay breadcrumbs let's get the last all the stuff together uh the mise now for what i'm this is leftover um i'll put i'm just changing the format of the bread and putting it back in the fridge that's what's happening um let's get some mise together i need to cut up some garlic um garlic thyme parsley um broccoli and then i'll get my salad together then we'll make the breadcrumbs so it is uh time for me and this trout is over here just hanging out that'll be good um it's not going to be out of the fridge long enough to uh for anything to be unsafe all right it's getting a wet paper towel or wet towel to put on my cutting board um some of the dishes are hard to cook shrevia i um shrevia i assume that you're seeing an ad right now okay ad is over um since some of the dishes are hard to cook and that is yeah i think the the complexity the complexity of it my 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 assumption of how complex that dish is and how like you need to build that flavor over time uh i feel like is a limiting factor for doing it in a like let's get dinner together quickly um but i'm probably wrong uh i'm probably wrong about that um i know uh john lung uh not not indian uh he doesn't cook uh, a lot of indian food but he does talk a lot about like uh, he cooks a lot of Asian dishes and talks a lot about like the flavor building uh, and his streams are pretty long. <laughs> I am, I am generally trying to get dinner uh, as quickly as possible. Um, but I'm not, a, I'm not, I'm not opposed to it for sure. Um, you know, there's, where is that other fennel? There it is. Okay. Fennels. Um, I need fennel, apple, this guy which is going to be in for the celery um linjay Corey, hello everything's everything's going i'm getting things out of the fridge at the moment i'm like uh what do i need thyme parsley broccoli lemon thyme parsley bro broccoli lemon farm okay let's Let's go with this. How was the rest of your stream yesterday? I'm sorry I bounced in and I, I dropped in and bounced right out. 
And I feel, I always feel really bad about that. Uh, I always feel really bad about that until the moment I actually sit down and I'm like eating and I'm like, ah, oh, right. Okay. This is what I was trying to do. <laughs> I hope the rest of your stream was good. Um, parm, garlic. Garlic. And... No, I need parm and broccoli. Parm, broccoli, walnuts. Got the parm. Broccoli is in here somewhere. There it is. Broccoli and nuts. Ah, nuts. Ta-da. Um, yes. I'm glad. I'm glad. Good soup. Good soup is what's up. It's soup season, after all. Everybody is on about soup season. And enchiladas, yes. Uh, I have not... When did I make enchiladas last? A while ago. I love enchiladas though. So good. Um, Corey, have you ever made Indian food on stream? Um, Shravya in chat is a new, a uh, new friend who is making, uh, is asking about tacos, but then talking, we were talking about Indian food and whether I've ever made it. And I've never made it on, on stream or like, can't I can't say that I've ever made act you know Indian style like curries or masalas or chops or any of that. Um which is cool. I'm glad I'm glad you have. <laughs> I've definitely I've not. Um I feel like I should. I feel like it uh definitely appeals to like the one pot meal type of thing. Um Ultimately, you know. All right. Just getting a little bit of these nuts crumbled up for, for a salad here. What is an enchiritos? En enchiritos and tamales. Yeah, I saw... Um, I saw that picture that you posted. That looked um it looked like I would eat all of that and then immediately just be like, okay, I'm gonna go lie down and have digestive problems. Excellent and awesome. Red sauce from scratch, that's great. Butter chicken, tandoori chicken, and chicken masala. Okay. Tandoori, um, I was wondering what like an Indian version of like a taco would be. And I think the like, tandoori chicken in like non bread is the closest I could come up with. Yeah. Or a kebab rather. I said kebab, but a uh, tandoori chicken might be good too. Would be good. Not might. I mean, it would be good. You could definitely eat it. It would be tasty. A giant beef burrito. Oh my God. Oh my God. Red sauce and melted cheese. Yeah, I agree. Making making sauce from any like making red sauce specifically from scratch is definitely uh definitely a labor. Why did you think red sauce sucked? To make it or to eat it? Ah, uh, yeah. Vegan, vegan for sure. I feel like, uh, isn't, isn't like the, the vast percentage of the population in India, um, vegetarian? Am I wrong in understanding that? Please correct me. Happy to be corrected about, uh, 
about lots of things. Yeah, okay. The bland restaurant version is, yeah, that's like, got it. So thank you, Shreva. Yeah, that was my, that was my like, Um, my yeah, that was my understanding is that the majority of the majority of especially the folks in India are vegetarian. Cool. Yeah, Hammer, I'm glad you like I'm glad you like uh cooking it now. It's definitely uh it's definitely a slow thing. It's like one of those worthwhile situations, kind of like curry is. Um Yeah, vegan a vegan red sauce. I feel like I'm gonna I feel like I'm gonna end up vegetarian at some point in the next couple of years. Uh I feel like I feel like Calvin's gonna eventually decide that he doesn't want to eat meat and then it's just gonna be over for this house. We'll just be vegetarian at that point. Ooh. Near a mushroom, ah, uh, mushroom. Can I use mushroom tonight? I have mushrooms. What, uh, what mushroom? What mushroom dish were you looking at, Corey? The the mushroom lovers need to know. <laughs> that is that be those that being me. <laughs> yeah, that is like I feel like that's a. I think that's probably a much better way to live. Shreva, um, Shrevia, if I am saying your name incorrectly, I really uh, would love to 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 know. I'm sorry if so. Um, Shrevia, Shrevia, okay, with a V. Um, do you freeze it, Hammer? It freezes very well. Got it. Okay, I'm asking questions for our finished reading. Almost never don't have it. How do you freeze it in bulk, or do you freeze it in like little, like cube, like uh, small, like compact? Um, I'm thinking like I freeze a lot of stuff in ice cube trays just because um, it makes it it makes it easier to portion out like exactly what I need. Like I would think with a red sauce, you could save that as ice cubes and then make a. Um, you know, pop off like six of them and just warm it up in like a really small saucepan. Okay. I think I'm just setting, I'm not going to steam these just yet, but I'm just kind of setting them up to, to steam here. There we go. Um, butter paneer masala. That's a good way to get all that air out. Yeah, I do that. I do that frequently. Or I use like a plastic straw and I'm like, <laughs> and try to get it. I don't know why. I mean, mushrooms, mushrooms are like their own kingdom in the, uh, the hierarchy of like food, right? They're like, they stand out. They're uh, not kingdom, like their own phylum. Right? Is that right? A mutter mushroom recipe. Awesome. I'm not familiar with those. Is that, wait, is that a type of mushroom? <laughs> is that a type of mushroom or a type of dish? Um, Hammer, that's exactly how we were talking yesterday about meal prepping and freezing purees. Uh, and yeah, the big Ziplocs like laid flat are so space efficient. Uh, those are really good for like, Hey, I, I got a, I got a friend who like needs a bunch of meals, you know? Um, those are that, that's like the best way to, to, uh, to keep things in that kind of size. It's an Indian curry dish. Okay. 
See, I'm just not familiar. I know I'm not familiar. <laughs> Butter paneer masala, though. That is, that sounds really good. I don't even remember the name of what I had last time. I always just get like something super, super spicy and hot and warm. Uh, this, the, the dishes are with paneer, paneer in them are the best though. That's like, I'm obsessed with those. Uh, I'm obsessed with that as like the protein. Okay. Um, this should be good. I'm mixing up right now. I'm just going to mix, um, the garlic, the thyme, the parsley, or I don't have thyme, so <laughs> we're just going to use some extra parsley. Uh, and that is going to get mixed up for the breadcrumbs. Okay. That gets mixed up for the breadcrumbs and then a little garlic here. Right. That would be, that would be a, it's quite the journey there that you'd have to go on. Um, they are, they're funny. I was, I got this book recently about mushrooms. That was a, it had, a, it had one of those like ease of identification things in it. And it had a really good reference. It was like, these are mushrooms that, uh, Corey, no worries. Appreciate you hanging out always. Um, that was talking about, like these are mushrooms that you that don't ever look like anything else. Like they'll never look like something poisonous. Hey, how's it going? Yeah. Gwen's here. Tiny fish. Or fish. Yeah, I mean, it's just how it goes. How it goes. How are you? Nice. Yeah. Choose wisely. Don't put that in. Good, good. Good work. Um, there's still that leftover Riesling, or there's some Pinot Grigio and Riesling in there if you want. Or if you just need to go like lay down or something. PJ, thank you for the follow. Uh, that is a notebook that I ordered, but it's the wrong notebook. I ran out of room in my notebook. And then bought the wrong size. Right there. The, the, one of them is open, and the other one is not. The Grigio is open. I don't care which one you drink. I'm not going to drink either one of them, so. Do what you want. <laughs> Would you like a glass? No. Okay. GG's. You you have the look. You have the look of play. Okay. Okay. Okay, bye. Um go ahead and tell. Clearly. Oh, I didn't turn on the other the other view. There we go. Look, it's so much better now. Um, why am I? Why is this garlic taking me six hours to peel? I I don't know. I'm I'm always like seconds away from just using garlic out of a jar. I don't know. It's so much better fresh, but it is uh, annoying. It's annoying. There's so much paperwork to get all the stuff off the edge. There we go. Okay. I'm going to need a lot of this. I mean, this is just going as a uh, in the mix of stuff on top of the trout. So it's not going to be, I don't, that's probably enough. That's probably enough what I've got here. Um, so the rest of this, I didn't have, I'm a little, I feel a little scattered because I didn't write down like my actual, I usually take like 10 minutes and write out what I'm going to do for dinner. Uh, but I only wrote out 
a few like small things today and didn't really get to the rest of it. So um, I keep like looking over here and being like, am I forgetting something? So the broccoli is good. I'm going to put some lemon on top of that. Baguette is out. Butter for the baguette is out. Okay, so I just need to finish. You finish the trout topping. And then we'll move on to. Move on to the salad. And the trout takes. 10 minutes or so in the oven. Uh, it's a pretty straightforward recipe. Um, not really, not even really a recipe. Um, just making breadcrumbs. Um, so I'm just going to get ev getting everything done and get the salad finished. Um, the broccoli can steam while the trout cooks. And then lemon on top of everything. Oh man, I am I'm really hungry right now. I'm finishing my. I've been back on my uh, intermittent fasting again. Uh, I was off it for a week, and now I'm now I'm back. So I'm feeling very like this week is sort of a recalibration week where I'm feeling more hungry than usual at the end of my fasting period. But it's not bad. There is a 30 second ad that's going to run. You might have noticed them throughout the broadcast. It's going to start mm, within the next minute or so. Uh, if you're curious about ads and why you're seeing them, you can hit exclamation point ad or type exclamation point ad into the chat. And it will give you some more information about that. I'm also happy to talk about it. Um, all right, so I'm going to really get this down fine because this is going to get mixed in with the breadcrumbs. Um, so dice that up and then just give it a little pull here. So salad should be a good one. Um, I'm going to use this fennel that I got last week and shave that with the mandolin and then shave some apples with the mandolin too. So it's going to be like pretty thin. And then I'm excited. I got this uh, green at the market called, um, you get this green at the market that was, that looks like it's going to be pretty good. Uh, it's called Lovage. Garlic is good, so mix the garlic, herbs, and a little salt and pepper into this. Just going to mix this garlic in by hand here. So then these breadcrumbs are all, all just going to go on top of the trout. I'm going to put the trout skin side down on a sheet pan. Um, I'm also going to put a bunch of butter in here, but it needs to get melted. So I'm going to do that. Oof, that garlic is sticky, even through all of that. Drunk cooking. Welcome. Welcome in. How was the rest of your stream the other day? Yesterday. Yesterday? Yesterday. Yeah. Welcome and welcome in. We're sort of mid mid meese here. That's what's happening. Got everything out and now I'm just trying to put it all back away. PC problems. <laughs> yeah. I uh I was crossing my I was crossing my fingers because my stream my uh streamlabs crashed like three times this afternoon while I was trying to update something. And it was, uh, I was like, well, here we go. <laughs> uh, and Hammer, I was, I was also, I was lurking in your stream a little bit the other day. 
I was in and out of some work stuff and was listening, listening and lurking. I love your milk. It's great. It is. Uh, I just refilled it today too. It's uh, it's substantial. <laughs> One of the uh, it was a Christmas Christmas present or no, it was a present from uh, my stepfather, stepfather who does uh, woodworking. It's about uh, about the size of a little a little smaller than my forearm. It's a favorite. I I love it. I'm very. I'm very thankful for it. He's also gifted uh, a couple bowls and pens, pens frequently. Is that American or British? Uh, I am American, so I live in Philadelphia. Um, I definitely have a American accent, um, which feels like nothing at all. <laughs> um. I face difficulties. Will understand the sheep of things. Well, sure. I'm happy. I'm happy to explain. I'm also happy to explain. If you, uh, if you're like, what is he talking about? Uh, I live. Uh, I'm in in uh, Philadelphia, which is like uh, in the center, the mid, the, the middle, the middle of the far east coast of the United States. Um. Okay. So, what do I want to do? with these i want to cut these vertically for them and then shave them okay first hold on first is that all the herbs i want to put in there what else do i have oh i'm gonna put some dill in there what am i doing um Dill will also be actually good in this salad. So I'm glad I went back in that box. So a little, little salad dill and then a little dill for the a little dill for the fish. All right. And it gets to be 1800 hours in a hurry. Sometimes I feel like uh, I'm also going to throw a little tarragon in there. And this is why this is why it takes me forever. Because I'm like, oh, did I get everything out of that box? Yeah, I, I could have. Let me just create more complication for myself. <laughs> Uh-oh. Is there about to be drama? <laughs> All right. Just kidding. I hope. I hope I was, uh, I'm always curious when people clip stuff. It's always, it's always fun. There's always a couple where I'm like, what is that? Why, why is that clip there? Do y'all go back and look at your clips and like edit them or delete them? Um, I look at mine occasionally. I haven't ever deleted one, but well, Godspeed, Godspeed with that, Jetty. I uh I can I, I I appreciate I appreciate the good the good natured camaraderie of that effort. <laughs> oh my god. You just like clip the whole thing for me. Oh my god. All right. This will be this will be good. Um the trout and then this tarragon. Um, I'm gonna take the dill and who wait, who who wins? How does one win? Do you have the most clips of you or do you clip ha have the worst clips of the other person? I think you're both kind of winning simultaneously, right? Mm -hmm. It's all in the it's all in the the name of it's all in the name of content. All in the name of content. All right. Tarragon's so funny. It's like um I feel like tarragon and fennel are so like they smell exactly the same to me.
and they always have it's not just a uh it's not just a symptom of anything <laughs> oh my gosh give each other in the name of brotherhood god godspeed with your efforts friends i i can appreciate i can appreciate that okay so all of this and just go on top of the fish oh come on that was that was unnecessary mm -hmm. Whoever, whoever like first told you about the game in your in your life was uh, a mean person. I think that's I think that's pretty clear. Not you specifically, anybody. Whoever just informs someone about the game for the first time, mean, mean. Someday Calvin will know about that. And then I'll I'll not hear the end of it. Okay. Um, I need about four about a quarter cup of butter, four tablespoons uh for these breadcrumbs. Uh so I'm gonna just melt that on the stove real quick. My fiance. Did she like the pot pie though? Did she I I guess that's not 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 like how did the rest of your stream go? But did was the pot pie well received? This was a request, right? It's just been part of my life. Yeah, it is now. I'm sure it was something that I learned in like Boy Scouts or elementary school. Okay, I'm just gonna let this butter do its thing back here. Uh, let me set a timer for like five minutes because I'll forget and then they'll just be like butter in the stove. Popeye came out great. Great. Excellent. Oh, I brought Bob and some soup. That was nice. That's awesome. Good work. They're probably like, hey, this switch thing's not too bad. <laughs> as long as we're getting fed, right? That's funny. I'm glad that I'm glad it came out well. Okay, I'm just coring coring these fennels. Get the big meaty stem out, um, and then I'm going to shave these with the mandolin. I'm going to make both of these because. Um, yeah. Because I like salad and I like fennel specifically, so I will probably end up eating a bunch of this. We'll see. Hear that butter sizzling back there. I don't think it's going to let me forget, which is not, which is good. Um, that's going to be the last of what I need for the the fish, though. Um, so now I'm going to work on the salad for a minute, um, and then we'll get um, get the fish in. All right, I think I'm done with the herbs. Uh, I'm going to put. You also put a little mint in the salad too. Now I'm just like getting. See, I'm getting. I'm going overboard. I got to put the herbs away. That's what I need to do. I think everything is better with like fresh herbs, and. Um, like any chance you get to put fresh herbs in something is worth it. Back in the herb box, along with all of its friends. All of its friends except the parsley, who is too big to fit. So the parsley doesn't get to go in. Uh, I've got all this salad stuff out here. Why don't I just start building a salad middle? Um, 
put this mint in as it is, just leaves. I'm not going to cut this at all. Uh, partly for the sake of time, partly for like the texture, or not the texture, like the visual appearance. I feel like the larger leaves would be good. Um, because the other stuff going in here is dill, fennel, apple, and and new to me uh, green that I got at the market called Lovage, L O V A G E, that has uh, leaves, but it's a very, very much tastes like celery. You'll see it in a second. It's right here on the counter wrapped in paper. Um, but I, it looked interesting. Like visually, it looked kind of fun. So I picked it up and was like, we'll try this one. Um, I tasted it and it tastes aggressively like parsley. So I think I need to like limit how much is going in. So I might use some more of it. Uh, I might not use all of it today. Okay. Butter is mostly melting. Man. Um, and this dill. I might not want to put all this dill in. So if I don't, I can just put the rest of it in my um in my herb. Herb mix for the trout. Let's see. I feel like this is going to have a lot in it though so this is probably fine the um herbs have been keeping really well for me in that box i'm excited to be able to get into the fall the farm that i get all the most of my produce from uh these are a little wilty is a hydroponic farm so they do uh all winter they'll have or they'll have uh, fresh herbs, which is super nice. So there's a little mandolin here. I'm going to set this on. Let's see. That was. Thinner than that. Thinner than that, please. Okay. Good. Um, that's not quite small enough. So we're gonna we're gonna hold this one together by hand and just not get down there too far. Yeah, that's good. I mean, not not good. I'm not finished, but that's a good a good whip. So these look, here's what I'm making with these. They're kind of papery thin. So they're a little bit, um, yeah, they're pretty, they're pretty thin. I don't know if that's focused or not, but I'm going to do the same, something, something very similar. All right. That fits now. Maybe. Okay. Fennel. You might have. We might have found the one the one thing that's like it's just falling apart here because it's so it's cut strangely. I should have cut these in a different way. Okay, and let's just do let's just do most of it, and I'll cut the rest of this up. Um, and I'll actually just toss this in the oven and roast it, and I'll do something else with it. Maybe I could just put it in a salad roasted. Unclear. Okay. But that's good. I'm getting a good bit out of here. Um, now, I will roast that fennel tonight, and then I'll put that in. I'm planning on making a grain bowl on Thursday. Uh, so I'll put that in the grain bowl. I'll just leave it in the fridge and heat it. I definitely didn't need both of these bulbs. This one was pretty big. So I think uh, I'm going to call it. Call it. 
call it on these guys. Fennel? Yeah, that's... Hmm. So this is what I'm starting to pull together here. Fennel and herbs. This is... Uh... Yeah. Deciding if... Because I haven't chopped everything here. So... I am going to shave off a little bit of those other ones, and then I'm just going to roast all of this. I can just toss this in to roast right now. By the time I get around to putting the trout in, <laughs> maybe these might be done. Probably not. Probably get around to it before then. Hopefully. Yeah. I'm sure I don't clip my thumb into here. That would be pretty awful. Okay. That worked out pretty well. Last one. Okay, that's enough fennel. We're good on the fennel now. Okay, let me get these onto a tray, and I'll just um, salt and pepper them on the tray, and then roast them. Get out of tray for my fish, too, while I'm down here. All right. Fennel. Oil. Salt. Pepper. The only thing that I don't like about this pepper mill is that sometimes the chute inside is very narrow and it uh the the peppercorns get hung up like it gets stuck. And then they all fall down at once. There they go. You can hear it. I can hear it. I don't know if y'all can probably not. Okay, let's give these a little, we'll, we'll move around and toss those in the oven. Oh, cool. I have a, anybody else dry pans in their oven? Do you like use your oven to dry sheet pans after you've washed them? I'm uh, extremely guilty of that. And extremely guilty of le leaving them in there. Well, long after the fact, and then turning the oven on and letting it preheat with them in there, like I just did. Uh, that's what happened the other day when I set the fire alarm off. I had my cast iron pans in there, and it uh, set the alarm off because they were burning. They were burning, burning, burning away. Okay. Um, the other thing I wanted to put in this salad is a little bit of basil. Um, so not a ton. I'm just going to grab some off the plant on the windowsill. Uh, but just a little bit, a little bit here. Maybe one stem worth of basil. Okay. Um, and then these I'm going to cut chiffonade, if you will. I think that's what we call it when they're in those nice little tidy strips.
We're not having snacks before dinner. We're. Yeah, I know. I heard. I'm not going to cut up an avocado right now. It's a extremely high filling thing to eat. Snacks are being requested from the living room. Or more specifically, Calvin wants to cut up, wants an avocado cut up. Um, which normally is, is okay. That's a fine request. Um, I'm looking for some apples here. So, uh, I made, we were at an apple orchard this weekend and these are some, just a few of the apples that we got. Just a few. We had 68 apples this weekend, which is a lot. It's a lot of apples. Um, but these look pretty good. These are super crisp. I think two apples here should do it, but I'm not going to cut the second one up until I've already cut the first one. Mm -hmm. These are, will probably be better in the, uh, why do they put the mandolin in the sink? like clearly not finished with it uh these will definitely go better in the mandolin given that they are small probably put three of these in at once so this is this the this standard like thing yeah oh my god this thing is so much better for slicing This is the this is the annoying part and things start getting small. There you go. Last little apple bits. Tosses on there with the fennel. Why not? Okay. One more. One more apple. And then I think that'll be it for the salad. I think. I'll have to look at my notes. I didn't do anything uh, not as organized today. Two, three. Three seems to work pretty well in here. And then once they're flat on one side, you can uh, flip them around and finish them off. Maybe two. Two is fine. <laughs> Last one through, last round, and that'll be it for the mandolin, thankfully. This thing kind of scares me. It's very useful, though. Like, admittedly, it's extremely useful. I'm definitely not into cutting these apples this way by hand. Flip these around to finish them off. Nope. <laughs> I'm just tossing the uh, the leftover pieces here. 
right onto the fennel in the oven. No seasoning, no nothing. Just let them roast at the same time. See what happens. I'm sure it'll be good. Okay. Officially done with the mandolin. Let me rinse my hand real quick. Okay. So let's mix all this stuff together and see what we have here. Uh, where are my nut pecans? Where are my pecans? Over here. Just, these are all like slivery, so they so you're gonna take a bit of con control uh cajoling. Rat Banshee, welcome in. I wish I had tacos. Happy streaming. Well, I appreciate it. Thanks for thanks for stopping in and saying hi. Hope you're hope you're. What is it for you? It is Wednesday. I hope your Wednesday is going well. Okay, got some pecans in here now. And then the other thing I wanted to add is the herbs, the greens that I mentioned. So these are these are what I was talking about. Uh, so these are called Lovage, L-O-V-A-G-E. And they are, they look like a nettle almost. Um, they're very, very soft. The individual leaves look like that. Maybe. I'm going to focus here. Right there. There you go. Good job. Yeah, that's very, they're very celery like. Um, so I'm going to take these leaves and chop them similar to the basil. Um, I think if you eat the leaves whole, it's going to be like too much of a flavor. If you are here and hearing me right now, there's an ad playing. I appreciate you. You should probably be a subscriber. All right. So if you've been watching for a little bit and are like, hey, what's up with all the ads? Go ahead and type exclamation point ad into the chat and you will be rewarded with some information about why you're seeing ads. I'll give you a hint. I only get to pick how you see ads, not whether you see them. And I've gone. Yeah, thanks, Emmer. Uh I've been back and forth for back and forth on what what to do about ads. Kimbara, thank you for the resub. I appreciate you, friend. Really do. Glad you're glad you're glad you're hanging out. And good morning to you. What was what was what was breakfast today, Kamara? Anything? Did you make did you make something nice for y'all? Okay. So I'm gonna shift and nod these just like I did the basil and hopefully that will just kind of mix right in yeah an anti-ad yeah I am not I am I don't like ads I don't uh I would say I would rather people like subscribe and not see ads to, you know, then like earn money off of ad revenue because it's not really whatever. Because uh, ad revenue is not not always the best, but um, 
I feel like you can either have that or you can have like you can have ads ahead of time or ads uh throughout. I just prefer to not have folks land here with an ad. I don't know. I'm going back and I'm I'm always back and forth on it. If you could opt out of it entirely, I think that would be great. You can't. Mackerel with cauliflower rice. Excellent. Do you make the cauliflower rice? Do you have like a ricer? Nice. I've not riced cauliflower before. I've gotten... Oh, no. Yeah, I have. What am I talking about? Um, I'm also aware that you can buy it in the like uh, freezer bags. Which is kind of fun. Kind of funny. Okay, so I have this this salad is good. Um salad's good. Uh what else? Parsley can go away. Um I need to I need to get myself together here. Um lemon. So I'm actually going to use, I don't want to cut that up right now, because I just don't. Um, I want to put a little lemon on this salad for the apples and the flavor, but mostly the apples. Um, and then I'm going to make a dressing for this out of the lemon that I have on the counter. Oh, greater with the food processor. Awesome. Yeah, I love I love cauliflower rice. It's very good. Um, I don't have it too often. I like um, I love cauliflower though. It's one of my favorites. It is. Uh, very versatile. Oh, seaweed and fried onion sounds great. A little seaweed is seaweed is an excellent excellent flavoring. I should use I could use more of that. I have it. Um, we have seaweed here. Calvin has these like seaweed snacks. Um, which are pretty good that are like just the sheets of uh the sheets of it and i could all i could use it just i don't think about it often mainly because it's not it was like never part of my diet growing up so it it just doesn't like come to mind you know i think that's what i like about one of the things that um i like about twitch is is like you know kind of co constant reminders <laughs> constant reminders about stuff like seaweed that's really funny <laughs> never cries oh my gosh what'll it what what'll it take hammer <laughs> All right, this lemon juice will be good for this uh, sauce. Not a sauce. Dressing. It's not a sauce. It's not a sauce. Oh, my gosh. Let's see. I have to move this camera anyway, so you're, 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 uh, you're very timely, Kambar. Correct. And you are correct. I just added that, like, Yesterday? Today? Yesterday. I think I added it yesterday. I don't know. I don't remember. This is why I have a release notes channel in Discord. So I can remember stuff like that. The release notes are not for me, not for not for everyone. They are mainly for me. Um it's cleaning up cleaning up over here for a second while I'm between things. Pause.
This is going to go on the broccoli. This is going to go on the broccoli. The baguette I need to slice up. This needs to have, let me finish the dressing for this. Um, okay, let's see. Then I need, I do need to move this camera. So let's, let's see. What in the background here could possibly be incriminating? Nothing. Not incriminating. That's a, that's a weird way to put that. There we go. Look at that. All right. Today's 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 fit check. Hat, pen holder, ape and bird hat, as always. Standard black t-shirt. This is from Fresh Clean Tees. Oh golly, look at how terrible that looks. Pause. Oh, why is there smoke? Oh, you can see the incense in that view. That's weird. That's really funny. Let's see. Um, we're going to reconfigure. We're going to do something stupid and change a camera setting while I'm live. Watch this. Watch this crash everything out. See that adjust in real time? Look at that. I've had like three times since grade school. Just got to be around to catch them. Hey, fair. Okay. Hat. This is a black t-shirt from Fresh Clean Tees. These are black Levi's from Levi's. And then down below, we have Birkenstocks for kitchen, for kitchen cooking purposes. And uh, and I'm covered in covered in uh, kitchen schmutz right now. Fit check. Does it fit? I think it does. How does it look from the side? What's in my pocket? Oh, my phone. <laughs> That's what I'm wearing today. The standard. This is the uniform. This is the standard uniform. This is what you're. See the new shoes? They're not new. These are pretty well broken in at this point. Um, <sighs> oh my gosh. Um, Kimbari, you should definitely, uh, definitely a um, a food scraper. You're talking about like the, one of the bench, the bench scrapers for sure. Those are, uh, I love this one. It's great. I've cried three times since grade school. The cobra died. That's funny. Um, or I'm reading your, your statement. So you do, like, you have ads on your channel. You just aren't running them. They're just running when someone joins your channel. So they're a pre-roll ad, right? That's the reason that ads run throughout the broadcast in this is that when you come in to this channel, you shouldn't get a pre-roll. That's it. Um, how, do, how, how do you not have pre-rolls? So you don't have pre-rolls for your subs, but... If you were an affiliate, there are ads being presented on your channel. You might just not know it. Like there are there are pre rolls, like period, on your on your channel. If you're an affiliate, that's what the affiliate program does. If you can turn off ads, uh, there's a line to disable ad revenue. Hmm. Interesting. I'll look into that. If that's an option, there will be no ads on this channel. I thought that you could not turn them off. I thought that you couldn't change that part of your... I, I thought that you couldn't change whether you got them, but you could change how they were presented. 
To my knowledge, everyone has pre-roll ads regardless. You can turn them off for subscribers, which you should do, <laughs> which anyone should do. Um, but my understanding is that you could not turn them off uh, whole, wholesale. Okay, so I want about uh, two, whatever. I want basically two ounces of lemon juice or two tablespoons of lemon juice, like an ounce of lemon juice and a little bit um, of oil. Um, so I'm going to use this walnut oil. What I'm doing is just making a dressing. So I want like two and a half, there we go, two and a half total. Um, and then whisk this together. While I'm whisking here, I'm going to actually Okay, so I don't have an I don't have an option to turn. Maybe if I turn off the auto. You can turn display ads off. I don't see an option for it, but maybe I need to just look at it more. Either way, it'd be cool if you could turn them off. I would prefer that greatly. I just don't like talking about it. Gotcha. Thanks, Lennon. Yeah, I'm like, I, I have, I have looked and looked and looked. Like, I know you can turn them off for, hi, Liz. Sorry, I didn't see you come in. Hello. Welcome. Um, sorry, I was like busy stirring with one hand and looking at which ad settings fits the other. Um, sorry. Kimbar, <laughs> that was the day Twitch crashed. Kimbar, you're killing it today. You're you're uh, you're on you're on track with your jerks, my friend. Okay, this is salt, pepper, walnut oil, lemon juice, uh, dressing. This is just dressing. So we'll throw that on last. I don't want to, uh, I don't want to saturate it right now. So, oh, I should have set a timer for the stuff that I put in the oven, shouldn't I have? I didn't. Not I should have. I, it would have been better if I did. Things would have been better if I did. Because these are, yeah, looking fine, looking finished. Um, and this isn't even for right now. This is like, this is for later. But we have some uh, some roasted fennel, roasted fennel and apples. Maybe I'll let this cool, and uh, depending on how the salad tastes, I might. I should have thought about this ahead of time, and uh, nope. If I'd have thought about this ahead of time, I would have used this instead of the broccoli and just had fennel two ways. But the broccoli's cut and ready to go, and uh, we're not going back. So, last thing before, uh, like, the big whoosh uh, is to get these fish out um, and get them onto, just get them out and onto a sheet pan. Let's take a look at these. Um, I'm going to put some actual gloves on. Um, I just don't want fish stuff under my nails. Um, so these are trout. They are deboned. <laughs> Leslie, nice to see you. 
Thanks for stopping in. Um, these are filleted, so we've got the full like fillet head on. Um, so what I'm gonna do, what I'm gonna do with these. First off, let me just get both of them out. Um, these guys are, I don't actually know where they're from. I usually get my trout when I get trout. Um, one, it's usually not deboned, so this is really nice. Uh, but two, I usually get it, uh, and it's from the farm that I get uh, most of my vegetables from. Um, which is not the case for this guy. So I, let's see, the little spines here. I know typically I can get these out. Um, they are not trout tacos. Friends, the taco title was linked, uh, was clickbait. I'm sorry to have deceived you. Uh, it is not, these are not for tacos. These are NFTs quick come by uh hey tidy whities welcome back um also duna betty welcome back so some of these i can get usually when i roast these i roast them whole and then when i debone them i'm getting the little uh the little fins off uh before serving them but this time the fins are like here and the bones are gone so it's it's a little weird I'm just kind of pulling these out. Um, maybe I should just roast these and then. Um, no, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to cut these. I'm going to cut these fillets off and have them be separate. That's what I'm going to do. That way I can just get the um, the back fin the dorsal fin out of here. I'd like to, basically, I'd like to be able to just serve these uh, using a spatula right from the pan to the the plate. So having the, having to pick the fin out is not going to be good. Uh, I must leave now. Sorry, Liz. <laughs> I'm definitely not caught up. November 5th taco be done. What's happening on November 5th? Kimbara, that is a really good idea. Thank you. I'm going to roast them separately, but on the same tray. They'll cook up just as fast. Okay, so I'm going to have these. Um, make, yeah. Yes, that is, that is definitely a chef treat. Kimbara, thank you, as always, for the insightful suggestions um so these guys are good one let's get the thin off of this one definitely not using the right knife for this but when am i ever using the right knife all right calvin's down there yelling never thanks Okay. What is he? What are you playing now? Oh, okay. A taco throwdown. Uh, good luck to all. I hope everyone has a really good time. <laughs> are you, uh, is this like a surprise thing? That's fun. That's really fun. So this like spinal column that I'm feeling here is nothing but bone. So I'm going to uh I'm going to roast all these fish pieces separately and we'll see what happens with them. Okay. One done. I'm going to uh yeah. I'm going to get this, I'm going to approach this one a little differently with the knowledge from the first one. Isn't that always the case? Uh, 
Um, okay. It's funny these little fins. Uh, these little fins are tricky. There's so much. They're so easy when you are uh, when it's cooked. They just slide right out, and then you just pop them in your mouth. <laughs> Betty, that is kind of terrifying. I'm. Uh, <laughs> I can understand that. I can understand that though. Where you're like, no thanks. I'm. Uh, I'm trying. Trying my best here, but it is full disclosure. There will be bones in this fish, no matter what I do. I am pretty good at deboning a fish, though. Once, like, especially after it's cooked, when you're like serving it, that's easy. That's the easy part. Gutting it and filleting it while it's raw is a little more difficult. Or a little more, uh, yeah. Maybe a little more difficult. My gosh. Okay. These, uh, yeah, these trout were the fish person, the fish vendor that I get uh, from every week sends out these really funny emails and they're like, long-winded and they describe all of the products that he's got that week um it's always it's always really funny um and this was the first week in a in a while that he's had whole trout um so i had to hop on it this week okay this looks good this is a complete disaster obviously it's filled with fit fish gut. um i'm actually gonna give these fillets a little rinse now that i've gotten them um i've gotten them completely off and ready to be ready to be cooked um i feel like the outside of these was like a little bit grainy so um let me rinse these off real quick Grainy in that it still maybe had like some residual like silt on it. Um, and it was looking like that on my hands. So just to be, just to be extra, extra good. We'll give these a rinse. Okay. And then pat these dry and we'll get where we're going with these finally i'm down to taco battle all of twitch throw down friends <laughs> uh a multi-stream cook-off would be interesting i've uh honestly if anyone ever asked me how like to do something like that i would need some significant like tech help to like figure out to figure out how to get someone else's like camera and audio through here. Oh my God. I can't even imagine. I can imagine. I can certainly imagine. I've seen it happen multiple times. Lemon, you were the other day I was watching your, your co stream, which was really fun. And I've seen plenty of folks do it. It just is, uh, seems like so difficult. <laughs> Such a technical hurdle. Okay. Um, let me get rid of one of these gloves. I actually want to oil this pan just a little bit before I throw these on here. Um, and then I'll salt. And give a little salt and pepper to the back side of these. Actually, this is the best way to do that. And then at the top of the stream, I made my breadcrumbs. So we'll get to those in just a moment. Ah, okay. I'm assuming that was uh, OBS. That's weird. That's a. Why was that term block in chat? Does the Streamlabs block the word OBS from chat? 
yeah, I imagine getting people online at the same time. It's hard to like get started. I feel like especially if you're at uh at home. I don't know. Off work work stuff, like worky work stuff, easy to start on time. Trying to get like something that's a either a hobby or you know, for some folks. Yeah. Herding cats. Anyone who's ever done any kind of like working with volunteers knows exactly what that's uh, what that's all about anyway. Okay. Last little bits here. So I'm going to cover these with some breadcrumbs that I made. Uh, the breadcrumbs have garlic and parsley, dill. Uh, what else went into there? Salt and pepper, of course. So let's give these a little layer of salt before the, the breadcrumbs go on. Am I hearing bird song? Is that from? Yeah, that's from this song, this computer. I'm like, it's hard to tell. Calvin's playing video games downstairs. So I'm like, he's playing Smash Brothers. So there's like, a million noises right now. The bird song is kind of pleasant, though. Anyway, speaking of uh, Twitch ads, there's another one coming up. Da -da 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 I'm just going to turn free rolls back on. Okay, Shana, thank you. Gotcha. Yeah, Kambara, I saw someone streaming the other day. Hammer, maybe it was you who had the phone and you were doing like a walkover, but your phone wasn't tethered to anything. It was just like streaming like this. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. That's weird. That's so weird that it blocks that term. I could I didn't set that up. That was not a me. That was not a me thing. Um that could be a good series. That sounds like that sounds like a food beast pitch. Okay, what else do I need to do here? Dress this. Oh, I need to steam this broccoli. Let me get that actually like started. Um and let's give that, let's say that'll probably be like what? Six minutes from now, that'll be done. Um, let's get these. Let's get these guys coated. So all I'm doing with this, this breadcrumb situation, is spreading it out over the top. Garlic, parsley, dill, breadcrumbs. Uh, the breadcrumbs came from an old hot dog roll, an old white bread hamburger roll and three old uh potato rolls so the goal was to get rid of bread in the ki uh, bread in the fridge which objective unlocked gotcha obs gotcha. nice I feel like that wireless is what uh, is could be contributing. You were having uh, the lag like last week that you were having. I don't know if tethering that would make it any any more efficient in the data transfer. Ah, I'm an idiot. Not an idiot. I just did something. Thanks, Cal. I just did something really wrong. I forgot to add the butter to this. I'm glad I just caught that right there because I can still add the butter to this. Ooh, okay, really glad I just caught that right here. Okay, but I have melted butter, melted and cooled butter, which is supposed to go into these breadcrumbs. Then you mix it. Then you mix it into like a paste. I'm like, why is this like that? Yeah, we talked about the the Starlink and all of that before. 
I'm just I'm just thinking of like any any little what do they say? It's like in the stock market when they're talking about like uh like microseconds. I don't know if you're like, you know, your computer's probably having to process something differently. I don't know. Just talking out loud. I'm sure that I'm sure that you've looked into it. <laughs> okay. That's better. I'm glad I caught that because I would have been really I definitely would have been annoyed at myself when I turned around to put these in the in the oven and they saw the butter sitting on the stove. It's fine. I would have just eaten it anyway. Okay. Now I've got my little like fish fish pieces over here. Let's spread these out just a little bit. And let's give those some salt. Oh yeah, gonna have some fish head. So good. Okay, now, now I'll wash my hands and toss this all in the oven. Log your dad, hello. Hello from the other side. Hello from Wednesday. Or hello to you on a Wednesday. Okay. Let's pop these fish in the oven. They're going to take about eight minutes and then uh, eight to 10 minutes. And then uh, we should be ready. We should be ready. Howdy from the road. Yeah, I hammer. I don't know how to do it either. As I've established, I got this stream up and running and I don't change much about it. Because it works today. I am uh I'm always extremely impressed um with folks who have like changing layout all the time. I know Blogger Dad, you change your layout regularly, or uh you add add themes and like elements to yours. Um I'm thinking like some of like the just chatting folks like Capri Sun Poppy has all sorts of like different visual elements on his. And I'm like, you probably have to take a lot of effort to like make change it that often. Um, okay, let's add eight minutes to the clock for that. And then let me clear off here. Uh, this had some fish on it, so we cannot use this anymore, at least this side of it. However, I can use the other side of it for photos, as one does. Okay, my broccoli is uh, steaming away here. Good. Of course, I messed it up and took the lid off, but that's okay. Um, just clean up, clean up a little bit, and then we are going to get some plates out. Okay. Broccoli, salad, bread. You get the bread. Flip the cutting board over. Okay, that let me check the broccoli before I cut this bread. Okay, this is whoa. Probably not finished yet, but let's let's look. Or let's taste rather. Excellent, Kambara. Good luck with the breakfast. Minute 30 seconds. Oh, that's 13 minutes. We don't want that. Cool. Um, 
ground zero four months ago. Yeah, I don't. I bought the lap. I got this laptop and was like, "How? What is Windows again?" Um, working my way towards forty-two in a hurry. Yeah, heard it. Uh, it is not something I'm super comfortable with, but I'm getting better at it. The technical side of things, anyway. Rainy Nan, thank you for thank you for saying that. You are almost we're almost at the end, but we're not quite there yet. Almost. Almost at the end. Uh, we're at the part where the last the last heat is on. The last thing is in the oven. Uh so that's a little a little bit about where we where you've landed in the broadcast. Three, six, nine, ten, eleven. Okay. Maybe a couple more of those. Maybe a couple more. Your great life, very natural. Thank you. I appreciate that. Uh I do not mind filling the space with my own voice either. I think that's probably something that's helpful. They're streaming. Oh, what do we got? Okay, that's for the button. Stop. Stopily. I'm gonna put this. I'm gonna put this back in the freezer because I'm definitely not gonna use this again this week. And um, oh. Ah. I forgot I had this. This would have been great yesterday. It's September 13th, 2020. Cool. Well, it's frozen, so I'm sure it's fine. Um, broccoli, try one more here. It's weird. I don't have much of a sense of time right now. Perfect. Okay, that's great. Um, when it when it gets dark, sorry, too much too much loud noises right next to my head. Um, when it gets dark this early in the year, I lose track of I lose track of like what is happening during the evening hours, and I'm feeling right now like super behind, right? Because it's just been dark for you know, like an hour and a half now. And yet it's only seven. It's 1900 hours here. This is like standard dinner time. I'm like just about finished and it's only seven o'clock. Yesterday it was eight. I finished at eight. My God. <sighs> okay. Broccoli. Um, a little bit of lemon zest. Toss this with a little bit of lemon juice. Some salt, because I didn't salt this at all beforehand. Uh, Cal, this is the 10. And then a little bit of Parmesan while this is still hot. I'm going to toss all this together and let that Parmesan get a little melty in here. Because, you know, vegetables have to come with cheese. Perfect. Um, and since these were steam, ain't nothing wrong with just covering them back up. Okay. Broccoli's good. Bread is... On the way, fish is looking great. Um, where did this come from? Parmesan. Got it. Okay, I'm going to add this lemon zest to this salad because I don't want to save it. <laughs> Does that for a reason? Okay, this salad looks real good. I'm pretty pretty happy with how this turned out. Um, I suppose I should taste it though, you know.
and get a best bite. I'll do best bites. You know what that is? Mmm. Oh, weird. That lovage, that um, green that I put in there is like extremely pronounced. I'm glad I only used a little bit of it. Okay. Let's get, um, here's what we're going to do. While I'm waiting for the last little bit on this fish, I'm going to butter these little breads uh, just to be, just to be obnoxious. Um, trash goods, thank you. Yeah, it, um, I got an idea. There was a recipe in food and wine, um, which I posted in the Discord. Uh, exclamation point menu will get you there. Um, which this is like kind of based off of. I didn't use the recipe to like. It's based off of that, but there's like extra stuff in here. Um, but yeah, it looked um, it looked really good, and I had fennel. That was the motivating factor. Okay, I'm gonna give that fish one more minute. While I butter some of these, um, I think I'll, what I'll actually do, let me just turn. I just heard the oven click on. I'm going to turn the oven off right now because that fish is like coming into the end and it can just, it can just coast to the finish here. Um, so it might feel wasteful to like butter all of these being like, oh, well, how many people are actually going to eat that? I'm going to eat them. I'm going to eat all of them. All the ones that are left over, I'm going to eat those with the rest of this salad. The broccoli uh, will be left over. There'll be leftovers of the broccoli, but um, that's to be expected. Gwenipur, I don't know if you're listening. Uh, but this is also your your sign to make your way to the kitchen. I hear footsteps upstairs, so maybe she's already on the way. Trash Chris, yeah, it um instant ramen's great. Can I tell you what we had for dinner on Saturday night? Instant ramen. So let's not kid ourselves. Everybody, everybody has instant ramen days. Or years or months, instant ramen eras, if you will. There's no shame in instant ramen. I have it in my cabinet. I think about it every week. Instant ramen college careers. Sure. Sure. I I definitely had instant ramen in college. It was a staple along with mac and cheese and delivery pizza. Oh my God. I still remember the thing that did the delivery place, the special was like 20, 20 bucks for two large pizzas and order of wings and like a three liter bottle of Coke or something wild. Oh my God. Remember eating that and then not feeling like a disaster for four days. Okay. Fish is done. Fish is definitely finished so let's get that out out and on the stove mm -hmm. right <laughs> those fish eyes are cloudy now okay fish is out on the stove um dress the salad wait a second Wipe this off first. Sometimes it's easier to just dump all the crumbs in the sink. I think my I think my compost will will live. Fish, broccoli, bread, salad. Dress this, and then I need to get some plates out, and it'll be all done. That'll be it. That'll be it. So while I'm while I'm finishing up here, 
let me take an opportunity to to talk a little bit tomorrow night tomorrow night i'll be doing a longer evening stream so starting about now 24 hours from now um processing a whole whole bunch of apples 68 apples 24 pounds 24 point something pounds um going to be doing apple sauce apple butter apple fritters and apple galette and then apple cider not in that order but those are the things on the menu uh on the board tomorrow uh so it should be a nice long apple evening um i'm probably yeah probably going to be live Oh, tiny apple seed hours. Yeah. Uh we went to um we went to a an orchard this weekend. And I went a little I had a little fun shopping by myself for apples, trying some different kinds. Um and grabbed grabbed a few a few types that seemed like they are really good eating apples. And uh Gonna make gonna make something without uh with those tomorrow night. Rainy Nan, we did. We did. Uh we went to uh the place we went to is called Tayroon Orchards. It's in Princeton, New Jersey. So a little bit of a drive from where we are, but uh it seemed to be worth it. It was worth it, I would say. We got a bunch of apples out of it, so you know. Okay. Um, putting stuff on plates now. There's an ad starting pretty soon, and then that should be, uh, that will probably be the last one. Uh, Trash Ghost, it was. It's the same one we went last year, um, to this, this spot. It was, uh, they do like, you know, they have like, you know, pony rides and, some games and food and a corn maze and you know pumpkins calvin's yelling it was amazing uh you know pumpkins uh stuff like that it was like definitely family family friendly um it was fun i'm 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 definitely like we went to the same one last year so i i knew that they had some apples there i was sort of like ready I was like, okay, if they have a bunch of apples, I know what I know what's up. I'm just gonna buy a bunch and we'll uh we'll see what happens. Um yeah. But my that is my mode of operation, buying a bunch of something and seeing what happens. That's that's pretty common. I'm usually uh I mean, I can usually be can usually be convinced to buy things, or it happens on accident, like a bunch of onions, which was also fun. Rainy in, is that true? Is that right? That's wild. Pause. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Bet that came through on the closed captioning. Yeah. Um, I do always say that. I'm from the South. So we're crazy about pie. I love it. Uh, I'm going to make tomorrow. I'm um, doing a uh, galette. So I was thinking about doing a pie. Um, but I also was like, I want to do a couple different things. And I didn't want to get caught up in like one one specific one specific recipe i probably will anyway get your head back hey nope just a moment this is calvin he's seven uh i don't know where mom is i think she's upstairs but that's fine a book called the bot the botany of desire kimbara what'd you make what was uh what was the final menu? 
are you ready for dinner? Yes, I am. <laughs> he is. He is most certainly ready for dinner. Okay, so I think this is a good plate for you, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Um, I turned the oven off, yeah? Yeah, okay. I really man. All right. Mind? Hello, everybody. <laughs> this is this is Calvin. He's been downstairs playing. What have you been playing? Um, I've been watching YouTube and playing Super Smash Bros. YouTube and Super Smash Bros. I've not been playing YouTube. I've been uh, watching. watching YouTube. Yes. Not playing YouTube. Overnight Oats. What, what is Mangosteen? Oh, that sounds really good. Strawberries and pineapple juice. That's excellent. All right, I'm going to put some of this stuff back in the oven because I want it to stay warm. What is? Yeah, I will. I will. I will. I will. I will. I'm trying to catch up. Super Smash Bros. is so good. Yes. He hasn't played Super Smash Bros. in a little while. It's been, I feel like it's been like maybe a month or two. No, more than that. More than that? Okay. Maybe. Like three. Maybe. Yeah, it was three months. Okay. Cool. Well, I'm glad that you were back. You're back to your smashing. Okay, take this to the table. This is yours. Take that to the table. Here, hey. No, please don't do that. Please carry this with both hands. Thank you. Okay, this one's for Gwen, so we'll leave this over here. We don't know where she is right now. She's currently upstairs, she says. She says. Let's see. Dino is ready. Are you going to have a taste test? Over okay. Here? Um, I am going to have a taste test. Yes. Yes. Leave, you leave one of the ports. Really tart fruit found in Southeast Asia. Okay. A nice too. No. Okay. Thank you, though. Uh, what you what you can do for me is, can you turn? <laughs> ah, yes. The message has been received. The message has been received. Thanks, Cal. There should have been three on the counter. Oh, take that one. No, take this one. I have one over here. Okay. Ah. Okay. So let's just get one picture. There we go. Okay. I hear. Okay. Can you turn that off? Oh, you were downstairs. Headphones. Got it. Here. Dinner. Okay. Let's let's try this trout. Let's try this trout. Mm. Yes. I like that one. We have a shot of your lighting in the kitchen. Uh do you mean a shot with the lights on? Or just like what it looks like? Oh, what it looks like. I can show you. I can show you with this camera. Oh, this one. So the lighting, the lighting in my kitchen. So there's there's you guys. So there's what I'm looking at. Above me are these like overhead lights in the just like drop lights. And then these pendant lights I keep off because they are um they're they're what they're what makes everything washed out. There's dinner. There's dinner happening. I'm going to go sit down in a second. Uh-huh. Yeah, so there's no additional lighting in here. It's just the actual room lighting. Um, the power. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate that. Um, Gwen Kambara and uh, Liz in the OC and Rainy Nan say hello. Who says hello? 
Okay. Calvin's yelling hi at me. I need to go sit down and eat. That's what I need. Okay. Also, I figured out why um, none of my commands worked yesterday. It's because CloudBot wasn't wasn't on. The metal staircase is interesting, Shana. Yeah, these Philly, a lot of these Philly row homes have, um, have like a, or some of them, some of them have a central staircase. So it's like a, a single, like a column in the center of the building as opposed to being on the side, uh, which is kind of fun. Uh, let's see, let's see who's online. I am inclined to go visit another food and drink streamer, uh, usually, usually. Um, Perfect. who's online right now? Itis is online. Hello, it's meal prep. Um, oh, sweet Annie's is just literally no, not just starting. Um, sweet Annie's has been online for a little bit. Oh, I need to refresh my, my view. That's what I need to do. Golly. <laughs> Calvin says the trout is amazing. So we have a report back from the dinner table. Um, okay. Is anybody, let's see. Um, there are, some folks have been online for a while. I'm not sure if they're, yeah, I'll get you some water. Um, hmm. I am. Let me see. Let's go look. Let's go uh, right over to uh, Sweet Annie's. Looks like she's decorating some cookies. Uh, and I. Yeah, she's wow. Wow, she, yeah, she's definitely des decorating some cookies. Those look uh, sweet. Annie's sweet. Annie's looks to be some sort of uh, ta talented professional. <laughs> um, I love stuff like that, though. No. So um, we're gonna we're gonna head over and do that. Um, say hi. Say hi. Give her give her a follow. She's streaming in the food and drink category, and uh, we love to support that. I love to support that. Um, there's some links to some different socials there. Uh, Discord, Insta, there'll be a photo. Um, there's an ad running. Anyway, if you're hearing me right now in this moment, I appreciate it because that means you're a subscriber, which is totally cool. And I do appreciate subscribers. Yes, Gwen, there's more bread. I know, right? Um, Leslie, thank, thank, thank you. Nambara, thank you as well. Um, let me... Cal, I'm not. I'm not right now. Okay. Let me get this. Let me get this. Let me get this raid started. Let's go say hi to sweet Annie. Uh, and we'll get we'll get on out of here. Um, I'm not gonna chat too much. Uh, because I'm gonna go sit and eat. Tomorrow night, 7 p.m. Eastern, uh, seven, a soft seven, seven to seven fifteen. Uh, we'll be live doing some Apple stuff. Come hang out. Come hang out. It'll be fun. Uh, watch me get into the weeds on some Apple things. Thanks for hanging out tonight, guys. Appreciate it. If you're watching the VOD, I appreciate you too. Come check us out live sometime.